the other day, my daughters were playing a game upstairs while I was doing some stuff downstairs. They seemed to be playing really well together when all of a sudden I heard one of my daughters yell, Dad! Dad! Thinking someone was injured, I hurried up the stairs and frantically asked, What's wrong? My daughters just looked at me confused and said, Nothing was wrong. I said, Well, why did someone yell, Dad! Dad! That's when they informed me that they were just playing a game called Family. You see, Family is a game that my daughters play where each person pretends to be a member of the family. And they just happen to be acting out a situation where the dad character was needed for an emergency. As frustrated as I was that they got my heart racing for no reason at all, I was still impressed with their use of imagination. You see, this is something that I have come to appreciate about my kids. They could take something very ordinary and make it interesting just by using their imaginations. You see, the same thing can be said of us adults as well. The problem is that when adults use their imagination, it's not usually in a fun and playful way. Instead, we use our imaginations to think about what's the worst thing that could happen. When we do that, we often end up worrying about whatever it is that our imaginations have cooked up. This is not a healthy use of our imaginations. So the question then becomes, what would be a good use of our imaginations? Well, I believe that answer is found in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. It says, To him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we could ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. <laughs> That's right. God can do immeasurably more than we could imagine. So this week, my encouragement for you is that instead of worrying about what may go wrong, just try to imagine the best thing that God could do in that same situation. Then rest in the comfort of knowing that whatever you just imagined is nothing compared to what God can really do.